strikeout to walk ratio. So he's throwing the ball pretty well. We'll see how that translates into this one. Gene Segura heads for the batter's box, and we are just about ready for some evening baseball. Shortstop, number two. Underway now in the Valley of the Sun as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. First pitch, 5 10. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Still a warm 88 degrees at the outset of the broadcast tonight. Swing and a ball lined hard towards short. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. Around first on his way to second now. So a struggle that time for him in center field, and as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. Mookie Betts will stand in now, and his batting average currently good for seventh in the National League. And that is huge for him, too. This is a contract year for him, so he'd love to take those great numbers straight to the negotiating table. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Well, Matt, there is some feeling that Jansen can struggle occasionally with pitchers on the corners. I I've seen both hitters and pitchers be confused by his calls on the black at times, so we'll see if that shows up in this one. Chopped weakly to the left. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. And he is out, retreating to second as they slap the tag on him. Oh, my goodness. This guy is really starting to heat up now. That's eight straight games with a base hit. He's been fun to watch. Runners off for second. Grounded back up the middle. Throw on to first will take care of Encarnacion for the second out. A moment here to take a look at the Cincinnati Reds starting lineup in this one. Steve, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Well, this team doesn't hit all that many doubles, so they're going to have to string some hits together. But a few more extra base hits could really jumpstart a rally for you, and I think that could help this ball club. Corey Dickerson will stride in now as he'll enter play as the second leading hitter in the entire National League. And he has a top five slugging percentage as well. So there's a lot of extra base hits to go along with that stellar average. That gets down and the inning will continue. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Ah, I'm trying maybe to carry a little of that momentum over from last night. He gets a pitch he can handle right here. And he's going to give his guys an early lead here as that makes the score one nothing here in the first. Albert Pujols will stand in, and he enters play with the sixth highest home run total in the National League. Hey, well, this bet still got it. You know, sometimes you see power really drop off when a guy gets up there in age, but not this guy. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. And in the first inning, with this guy already looking a little shaky, I think you let him throw you one here. He hasn't proven to me that he can find the strike zone yet. Nice pauses. Here it is on 1-0. and Oh, and this fastball is built at the deep left center field. Does he have enough to get out of here? Yes, a home run. Albert Pujols, a two-run shot. 29 home runs for him on the year as the Reds move out in front now, three to nothing. That pitcher's got to be thinking, how can I throw a pitch like that in this situation? That thing was so right down the middle, it absolutely got hammered, 
and he knew it as soon as he let go of it. Charlie Blackman will step forward now. Currently third in the National League batting race to begin play. Well, right now he's in the prime of his career, so these are the years you'd really expect to see the best of what a guy's going to have to offer. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. There you see the company he's in in terms of that NL batting race. Oh, and one, here it comes. This one's flared out toward left. Gardner is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. Home half of the first coming up from Chase Field. It's now 3-0 Cincinnati. Sonny Gray will be the one towing the rubber for the Reds. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, his batting average against this year is under 250. He's really had his way with the offense. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. Leading off for the Diamondbacks. Left fielder, Brett Gardner. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And, Eric, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And they got a great pitching performance in the opener of this series, so if they could get anything comparable here or the rest of this road trip, you can bet they'll take it. Here's the one-and-one one pitch. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. And after you move a guy off the plate and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Yeah, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Sent on the ground out to second. On to first is Cabrera, and that's the first out. With that, let's take a look at the hometown Diamondbacks lineup card. Steve, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Down by three after the top of the first, you're already in a big hole. So almost every guy in your lineup becomes a leadoff hitter. Get those guys on to start innings and see if you can get a rally going. Manuel Andino is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And, and against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may walk back. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Faces are empty, one man out. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. And with that, let's take a look at the defense for the Cincinnati Reds. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Yeah, guys, Mookie Betts puts it all on the line in every single game. He's not afraid to risk his body if it means taking a chance at making an incredible play. I've seen him take on walls at full speed. 
leave his feet at impossible angles, and he takes great pride in the effort he puts forth defensively. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Yeah, he was hoping for a quick one-two-three to start the night. Now he's going to have a little work to do with a runner on and a dangerous cleanup hitter coming up. Here comes the first pitch. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. And speaking of the National League's home run leaders, there they are on your screen. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Yeah, that's the put away curveball. A great pitch with two strikes. You start it in the zone and then let it work out and see if they'll chase. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. Still down three nothing. Derek Norris will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. Nice is ready. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Jackson. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And with a quick breather here, let's bring in a look at the defensive alignment for the Diamondbacks. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, the center fielder in this one, as good as anybody out there in the field, has a lot of speed, can cover a lot of ground, and most importantly, he's very reliable. Nick Castellanos will stand in. He, too, had three hits in the win last night. Well, Matty just continues this string of his last 10 games where he's hitting over 300. He has those really, really nice games mixed in there. And a high strike there, 0-1. And, and, you know, I think it's going to be important that when guys get their pitches, they take advantage. There it looked like he was taken all the way, and he may not get another pitch that catches that much of the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, and oh, he's really oh, getting strike. the better of him now. It's strike two. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And this is something they've worked on in the batting Second cage, baseman. taking some of the movement out of his swing. Much more compact now, and he's seeing some definite results. Everett Cabrera will stand in now as the National League's leading hitter entering play. And not bad for a second baseman. There are some good ones, but second base isn't typically where you'd expect to have one of your best hitters. Hit hard towards center. In there, a base hit. Boy, 
boy, the hits just keep on coming here. You see the highlighted column right there. That's six against him already, and we're just in the second inning. Gene Segura will dig in here. He singled to open up the ball game. Well, he hit the fastball, so we're going to see right here if they still come at him with the hard stuff. First pitch of the at-bat. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short, as he'll hang on here to record the second out. I'll tell you, if he didn't catch that Center ball, fielder. it would have knocked him down. This is a laser, but he manages to hang on to it. Here's Mookie Betts as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. That's not really a bad take that time. You've got a guy out there on the mound that's had his hands full already. So you've got to make him prove that he can find the zone. Two down, runners at first and second. And he falls behind 0-2. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Cabrera running. And no throw as it turns out as he takes second with ease. And the runner from second is in to score. When you're already losing, the one thing you can't do is give away more runs. I mean, you're already in the hole. The last thing you want to do is keep digging, but that's what's happening right here. Things are going from bad to worse now. Edwin Encarnacion now. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left, number 36 on the year for him, as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Wow, he has proven to be a real nuisance in the first two games of this series. A home run in last night's ball game, and now another one here. Now the Diamondbacks get a left-hander up and working in the bullpen. Stepping in now, Corey Dickerson. Pulled toward right center field. Jackson on the run. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Reds seven and the Diamondbacks nothing. Jonathan Scope will lead things off here with his guys down seven in the early going. Steve Lyons, how do you come back from a deficit like that? Well, I think slowly. I mean, yeah, ideally a 10-run inning would be great. But you've got time on your side. You don't need to try to get it all back at once. Just pack away. A couple runs here, a couple runs there. Get yourself into slam range. That's four runs down. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And that guy right there is the beneficiary of all these early runs. He's got to be the happiest guy in the ballpark. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. And this is what you like to see, especially coming off of a loss in his last start. These first couple innings, he's coming right after guys. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And here's three. a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. And, you know, it's pretty safe to say that anytime you give a guy seven that runs of support it. here in the first half first of a ball game, baseman. he's probably going to be okay out there. And he gets the first out of this inning here. Into the box, Joe Maurer. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And 
this is taken outside for ball one. Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now, and that's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up with one and one. Ready with the one one pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Boy, you talk about a ball having eyes. First off, he's fortunate to get this one by the pitcher. It's not hit especially hard, but you'll see it get past second base where neither middle infielder can track it down. And it'll make its way into center field. Kurt Casale takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. One. one of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here. He's coming right after him trying to get a punch out. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Boy, and just a great call that time to turn to the changeup. That's one of those at the plate where you don't even wait for the umpire to make the call. You know you're a goner. Austin Jackson will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Yeah, and coming right off of that strikeout, he's got to be thinking he should be ahead of this next guy. That's a tough way to fall behind. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. One and one, here it is. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. To two and two now. This is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. Hit to third. Taken in by Castellanos. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. One left for Arizona. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 nothing. Albert Pujols is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. Well, guys, they jumped out to that big lead early on in this game, but you really can't get comfortable. You have to keep putting pressure on. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Yeah, and that's not always an easy play for a pitcher, especially when he has to barehand the ball. But luckily, he's got plenty of time out there, so he's able to set himself and then make a good, strong throw. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Yeah, and I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. One out, nobody on. Swing and a little blooper to center. Scope onto the grass. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. 
Boy, he had to go a long way into the outfield to make this play. I kept thinking he was going to get called off, but he must have kept shouting for it, so he stays with it and pulls it in. The catcher, Derek Norris, is in. Hit the other way out toward right field. We'll reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Reds are down in order. Jorge Polanco will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. Well, it seems like it's going from bad to worse. He had a bad day yesterday, and he's hitting under 200 in his last 10. And here's a fastball called for strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Gray has his target, 0-2 on its way. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Dickerson going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he has started the home third with the double. And, you know, I wonder if he didn't get this well, ball just a little closer to the label Rick than he wanted Arthur. to. Because I think if he gets full barrel on this one, this is not going to stay in the ballpark. No biggie, though. He's got enough of it to get it all the way out to the wall in straightaway right field. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And, you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. No one out with a runner at second. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Well, in that situation, you'd love to be able to get that guy up to third base with just one out. But this is a swing and miss type of pitcher on the mound, so you knew he'd be going for the strikeout, and he winds up getting it. Manuel Andino is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And he misses with it, one and one. One out and a runner on second base. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. And another foul ball. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Runner at second here with one man out. And a swing and a miss. And another punch out here. Six already. And that's out number two. Now this is exactly how you go about shutting down a leadoff double. He turned right around, struck out the next two guys. So now they're going to need a little two-out magic if they're going to dent that scoreboard. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. He wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. That evens it up one and one. On the ground to third. Castellanos is there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. TJ House is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. Riding into the box, Nick Castellanos. He reached on a single in his first try. Castellanos. Oh, 
Eight, nine, and one to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball one. Hit hard down the line toward the coaching box. It's a foul ball. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And this is why, as a hitter, working the count in your favor is so important. I mean, here... Cabrera. This is probably a ball, but you can't risk taking this pitch on one and two and hope that you get the benefit of the umpire's call. You pretty much have to swing at it, even though you probably wouldn't have been able to do much with it in the first place. Into the box now, Everett Cabrera. As he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. On to first, and there are two down. You know, there's no such thing as a routine grounder with this guy. If you take your time, he's going to be safe. He'll beat it out. So that's a nice job of getting rid of it quickly and getting him at first base. Gene Segura standing in. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Seven runs, an equal number of hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Line toward the alley in left center, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And you know the hitting coach right now is sitting in that dugout pumping his fist because that's what he's preaching all day, every day. Hit the ball up the middle, hit it hard. Here's Mookie Betts. Segura runs. Pitch outside the throw. And no throw as he'll just hang on to it. Well, it's still early and no lead is ever safe when you've got more than half a ball game to go. But you have to wonder if maybe it might not be a bad idea to put up the red light with the lead where it is. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. Yeah, he's got an open base here. Looks like he's going to use it. Hey. Take sign must have been on there because that's right down the middle. Strike one. Maybe you worry about this guy getting a little too slider happy. That's three in a row now, so... You're giving that guy at the plate a pretty good look at. Eight. Called strike on the sinker, two and two now. And the runner's breaking for third. Grounded to the right. Taken in by Scope. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. We'll see the dangerous Jose Bautista when we come back. It's the red seven. And the Diamondbacks nothing. And here is Jose Bautista now. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Maybe a leadoff base runner could get them going and give them a chance. They need to start making a move if they have any hope of getting back in this one.
Gray's ready. Here's the 0-1. And a pitch one in the one. dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One and one. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. And this is where a guy who's been around a long time knows, hey, we're not going to make up the difference with just one swing. It's going to take base runners. So that's a good job of being really patient at the plate. That's going to even up the count at two and two. High in the air out to center field. Moving under it, Betts. He's got it one away. The second baseman, number six. Third and final Jonathan game of this three-game set comes your way Sunday afternoon. That's tomorrow as you see the pitchers scheduled to take the mound in the series finale. Into the box now, Jonathan Scope. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Well, you know, it never feels good to go down on strikes, especially looking. You wouldn't be surprised to see him be a little more aggressive in this at-bat. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Hit hard toward the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. And sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. Settling in now, Joe Maurer. He singled his last time up. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Now a swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. And Mookie will make the play and that retires the side. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They're down by a touchdown, seven nothing. Edwin Encarnacion heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. First baseman number 17, Edwin Encarnacion. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Looped out towards short, but this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. Up next for Cincinnati. Oh, they came right back at him with another heater right there. He wasn't surprised at all. He might have been sitting on that pitch. But he hit it right on the button. It just wound up being right at somebody. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Jackson is under it. He's got it and there are two down now. And at this point in the game, your defenders will love you for this. He's been able to pick up the first two outs of the inning here on just four pitches. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth. And standing in, trouble now in the person of Albert Pujols. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. 
two out, nobody on. On the ground, up the middle. Dandino is up with it. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Not much more to say here. I mean, this has just been an awful performance from these guys. Top to bottom. They can't hit the ball, they can't catch the ball, and they can't throw the ball. Nothing has gone right. They got to be thinking, this one, it can't end soon enough. First pitch on its way. Ground ball right side. Scope has it. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. One error in the inning, but it doesn't hurt him. Home half. Kurt Casale will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Gray into his motion. Here's the first pitch. Bottom three in the batting order here as the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. Is a swing and a high pop up. Segura is there for it. Makes the play one away. What a now difference five days from now. He's been a totally Austin. different pitcher out Jackson. there compared to his last start. The command is much better. The pitches are much sharper. Even the body language tells me he's got things under control. 
Now in the box, Austin Jackson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. That tails back over, strike one. Well, he's thrown a first pitch strike to about 60% of the batters he's faced, so that's a pretty good percentage because we're into the middle innings right now. Grounded down the third baseline, and that's through for a base hit, make him one for two in this one. I tell you, when you're on a hot streak like this guy's been on, everything you touch turns to gold. I mean, this is not a particularly great swing. It's not hit hard at all, but sure enough, it finds a hole, and at average, it'll climb a few more points. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Jorge Polanco is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box, so it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Yeah, that's in a great spot, too. Just hard, late movement working down and in. One and two, here it comes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked a batter to this point, so his control has been really, really spot on so far. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7-0. Derek Norris will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Yeah, and he just needs to make a small adjustment and stay through the middle of the ball. Think about hitting the line drive right back up the middle. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and oh. Three and oh now. And from where I'm sitting, you know, this guy looks to be a guy that's starting to rush out there now. It might not be a bad idea for the catcher to try and slow him down a bit. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, <laughs> this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Nick Castellanos will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both a lefty and a righty up to throw. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all at strike one. And that's what he needed to do after the four-pitch walk. Come right back and get ahead versus the next guy. The 0-1 delivery. Outside for a ball, 1-1. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. 
Around third and being waved on home. And a relay to the plate. And he is in there. Well, this is what happens when you allow that leadoff man to get on base. I thought they might hold him at third with nobody out, but he comes all the way around to score from first on the RBI double. In now, Everett Cabrera. As he'll swing and send a line drive out to right field. In is Batista, but this gets down a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. But that is just picture perfect right there. You know as a hitter that you're going to want to make sure you hit it to the right side to get that runner to third base. But if you do it well enough, you get yourself a base hit to go along with it. Check it out. He, he lets this pitch get almost past him, but then he manages to still get good contact and send it into right field for the base hit. Gene Segura standing in. And this one is past him, and that could be a run. And it is a run. This is always a danger with a runner on third. It looked like the slider there, but he just overcooked it, and it's going to allow that runner to come in and score. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. Scope dives. What a stop. It's in time. Woo, no problem. Up next for Cincinnati, center fielder, Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts digs in now with two already home and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Well, runs often come in bunches, Matty, and we're going to have to see if that's the case right here. They've got a chance at a big inning. Hard liner toward short, and he makes a great diving stop for the out. Boy, he saved a hit and a run with that play. Look at him get himself into a good ready position. Then his reactions are good, and he's able to spear that thing a good foot or so off the ground. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three-run home run. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Back goes Jackson. Gone! So a two-run home run for Edwin Encarnacion. His second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game. And it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one. So he's definitely locked in. The right fielder into the box, 16. Corey Dickerson. Corey Dickerson. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Jackson will wait on it. And that will retire the side. So they score four times on just three base hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Reds 11 and the Diamondbacks nothing. Manuel Dandino will stand in to start things Leading off as Diamond this top of the batting order hasn't Manuel found a whole lot of success Manuel so far. Andino. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. It appears safe to say now that that man right there has turned things around from his last start. And it's a great That's sign, a too, of exactly what you need to do. You have to have a short memory out there. But you're right. He's pitching with a lot more confidence in this outing. Hit well on the ground to first. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. One of the first times tonight Thursday, that they've had their leadoff man on base. And now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want to get back in this thing. 
Kyle Seeger will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, putting the ball in play. Sometimes that's half the battle. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Now, here's a good spot to finally break through against this guy. You've got the leadoff man on, the heart of the order's coming up, and maybe this is a good chance to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. Gray sets, coming at him with the 0-1. Late oh, decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Nobody out, runner on first. And the 0-2 here is fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. And into his sixth inning of work now. Let's take a look at the breakdown for him so far. Batista. Jose Batista will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. On his way to pitch number 75. Big curveball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Yeah, and he's really getting over the top of that curveball. Tap foul at home plate. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Boy, his guys got him the lead back in the very first the inning. And baseman, he hasn't six. looked back since. Jonathan He's had everything go his Snow. way so far. And this inning's turning out to be no exception. Jonathan Scope will dig in now. He's struck out and lined out in his first two at-bats. Yeah, he hit that ball pretty hard on the line out. He just couldn't get it to fall for him. Out in front of it, strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And, and it looks like the scouting report says, work this guy away, and it's been paying off. Right, and whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offensively at all. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. Seventh inning coming up. Reds out in front, 11 to nothing. Welcome back to Chase Field here in Phoenix. This one pretty much right, all over, but the shouting as we now check our game summary to see how we've gotten to Number where we are. Yusmero Petit Yusmero will come on Petit. now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Albert Pujols. We'll stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Jackson giving chase. One down. Well, that's pretty nice. You come into a ball game, you throw one slider, and you get yourself an out. Now, that'll help you settle right into the game. Charlie Blackman will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. Breaking ball for a strike, 0-1. Now a hard liner toward short. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. 
Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Certainly in this streak, he's had a lot of those opportunities come late in ball games, but he extends it again with another clutch base hit. The catcher, Derek Norris, is in. As this is pop foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Runners on first with one down. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Grounded back up the middle. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Well, you got to start a streak somewhere, and he's well into this one now. A six-game hit streak with that base hit. He's swinging the bat pretty good right now. Nick Castellanos stands in, looking to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Boy, he had a great at-bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is in the air out to right. Bautista is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he's safe. A little bit of a risk there with two away. You don't want to run yourself into a double play to end the inning, but he's able to make it up there, and that puts runners on the corners now with two outs. Everett Cabrera gets a shot now with two men on and two away here in inning number seven. And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go untapped. Swing and a liner. But this will be foul. And it's quickly 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. and two. Mm. Just did manage to catch that one with the last two inches of his glove. That could have been trouble. He got him. And exhale as he's out of the jam and the inning is over. Red strand a couple, but they lead it 11 to nothing. Joe Maurer will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Now, you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at-bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and put some decent swings on it. We'll look ahead now and pick this one back up in the top of inning number eight. Leading off for the Reds. Stepping in, Gene Segura. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Lifted in the air out to right. Bautista is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting. Certainly not the most competitive game the three of us have ever witnessed. 11 to 1 our score as we head to the finish line finally in this one. Digging in, Mookie Betts. He's 1 for 4 for the game. Into the windup and the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Bautista moves over. And he makes the catch for the second out. Two pitches, two fly balls, two easy outs. He's probably out there saying, man, why can't it always be this easy? First offering on its way. Into the seats, 0 and 1. The windup and the 0 1. 
No contact there from Encarnacion as the count runs to 0-2 on him. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Slow roller out to short. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Reds. Manuel Andino will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on, and that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. And we'll move forward now to the top of inning number nine. Corey Dickerson will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. Sends that one out of play for strike one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Gardner is there. One out. Now batting. This is not normally the kind of swing you associate with a good hitter like this. I mean, he's caught reaching for a pitch that he really has no business swinging at, and that becomes a very easy out. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Hit hard up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots this ball right back up the middle. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Hot shot on the ground is short. Speared on the dive. One there. Oh, man, I'm going to give him a 9.5 on that play. He'd probably get a 10 if they could have turned two there, but I'll tell you, just getting the force at second was good enough for me. The catcher, Derek Norris, is in. As he'll swing and send a line drive out to right field. In is Batista, but this gets down a base hit. The throw to third. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. Now to the plate, Nick Castellanos. He's two for four in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. In the air to straightaway right. Batista has a read on it. And the inning is over. Red strand a couple. They're still in command. Jorge Polanco will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yep, this is mop-up time out there right now. But, hey, these at-bats still count against now your batting average. Cincinnati. So you can't go up there and Number just mail 59. it in. You've got to see this Fernando through right to the end of the game. Jorge Polanco will lead things off here in the ninth in what's been a truly forgettable Leon, ball game for this home for nine and not a very inspiring performance hit. either. Jorge. And I guess Polanco. the kicker for me is the way that these guys are responding. It's one thing to go out and get clobbered. It happens, but... When you get guys going through the motions, not running out ground balls, not backing up, that's where I take issue. Blackman going back. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Well, this is a situation where a home run here isn't going to tie the game. He's got to work on just hitting down on the ball and hopefully trying to get on base. 
Instead, it's just an easy fly ball in a game where they're running out of outs. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a liner, but foul. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Oh, you like the way this guy is just going about his business here. He's got a big lead, but he's pitching like it's a tie game here in the ninth. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Bases are empty. One man out. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. Well, this is a scroll he's taken five times in this series now. That slow walk back to the dugout after getting punched out. After a while, these things, they start to wear on you. You've got to try to keep the mindset that every at-bat's a new opportunity. But most of the time, that's easier said than done. And this is swung on and missed, so the Diamondbacks are down to their final strike now. And you can tell by the way he's attacking these hitters. He's not trying to hit corners or anything, and he's just getting that ball back and saying, let's go to work. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And I think just about everybody wound up having a hand in this victory as they go on to win this one by eight runs. Well, this one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory. And guys, little doubt that the big bat here tonight belonged to this gentleman right here, Edwin Encarnacion. Strike a pose. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he delivered more than once with runners in scoring position. Finished with five RBIs, and that was more than enough to lead his guys to victory. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Reds win this one 11-3. Good night from Phoenix.